Hello and welcome to more cube. Xenagos. Fours. Herbrask. Throne. Harmonics. Lots of green in here. Do we just slam that Xenagos? And all the fixing. I think signs are pointing towards Jund. We're guaranteed to table something out of here. I haven't played too much with this card. But I think I'm going to give it a shot. Not necessarily like taking multicolored cards right off the bat, but let's go down this road and see where it takes this. Okay. Broodmate secures us in that strategy. Elves are okay. I think I just want the the burn. This leaves us open to gruel aggro. And just a solid piece of removal. Whereas elf is hedging more towards the ramp strategy. Also good in aggro though. But I think I'll just take bolt and call myself good. There's plenty of elves to, to get. Maybe broodmate tables. Uh, if we don't want to go, well, if we want to go, John, we could take Liliana. I'm not the biggest fan of her, though. She tends to sit around, and do nothing in certain board states. So let's take the safe pick of the lightning bolt. And here, what are we doing? My cryptic finds its way to me. I don't want to shift that way. I can take Strong Kirk. It's okay. Hughes Downfall is a good card to pick up. But I don't want to move into black for it. Wasteland is pretty damn strong. But I think I'm just going to keep with this kind of aggression and take Burst. Hellrider, Strip Mine. Balance. I don't know what's the matter with people. There's fixing. I think I just want the Hell Rider. Maybe we end up more mono red. Strip Mine's a solid card. GP's an okay two drop. The Coddle. What's this? Four mana, four four, pretty much. Strip Mine can come up so huge and so often. I think I want to go aggression. And Hellrider does a hell of a good job doing that. So let's slam that. Uh, plow under. Pretty good. Maybe I just take stag. I don't know how good it is in the format. Keep a counter pro blue and black. Seems pretty strong. Skullcrack's not my favorite burn spell disc. A little slow for what we want to do. Lumberjack's worth considering. I don't like sacking lands. <laughs> it tends not to work out well for me. I think I'll just take Stag. Give someone excellent blue-white picks. I don't think Stag's that strong. Uh, pernicious Deed. That could be worthy of a splash. Maybe I take Corsa, though. Really push towards that green-red. Black's pretty open. I gotta take Deed, though. It's totally worth a splash. It's so, so useful. Yeah, let's slam that. We should get some fixing coming around to us. Bonfire's looking pretty good. Not the biggest fan of Thunderblast, Blaster, not so much either. And what is this? Is this return to a pack one? 
So I really got to fill up on ones and twos. I want to curve towards Hellrider. So I'm going to try to keep everything under four, if at all possible. Okay. Uh, Grim Lava Mancer looks good. Could take fixing. It's also a man land. Putrid Leech, if we really want to head towards that Jund. But I think Grim Lava Mancer is probably the safest here. It goes pretty well with what we got going so far. Hmm. We're going to have to hit that fixing some point. I want two drops. That's for sure. But I think we can find better. I'd rather hit that fixing. Both these are kind of off color though. We're mainly red. I don't necessarily need that pernicious deed. Maybe we, I just want Herbrask. Or should I just take Chainwalker? Uh, I gotta take Fixing at some point. I think that was our pack one. Hmm. I don't know what kind of deck's wheel is supposed to go into. Maybe this is one of them. Just fill up our hand with more burn. Try to close it out. Or we can take explosives, which is just an awesome sideboard card. I'm going to play wheel. I've never really played with it. Alright, get some red. Bone splitter could be nice. But let's get some one drops. Ooh. Mountain, so that's most going to be a 2 2. Let's get a, let's get a 2 drop. Not my favorite 2 drop, but still 2 drop. Skull crack, not excited about it. Might play it though. Hell, maybe we just go mono red. Come on, no one's going to be Delver. Alright, we might be just going mono red here. I think we just got to slam Vortex. And hope. Gamma Guide or Fallout tables. Oh, Mystics in the cube. It's a welcome sight. I love this card. Could go into white for it. It's still early. But let's just. I think we're going to go mono red. Uh, and let's get a fetch land. It's good to fix, and it's good for our GOP. Ah, oh, but there's Sword of Fire and Ice. I think I gotta take Sword. I can't give Stone Forge and then a Sword. So it turns out maybe we should have just jumped into white there. That would have been awesome. As much as I want that Bloodstained Mire. Sword of Fire and Ice is probably one of the best swords. Easily one of the best. And then there's Fixing too. Son of a bitch. <laughs> uh, we can take Hellkite. I'm the largest fan of Fire. Fire Cat. <laughs> That's upsetting. Yeah, let's just, we're I think we're at mono red at this point. Uh, zealot. Yeah, pretty much taking all the red cards. Need two drops. If conscripts tables, that'd be noise, very noise. Uh, two. Boons. I think I just take Firebolt. More burns. More burn all the time. I've never done mono red. Maybe still splash green. For Revel Reveler. Mono red just seems like I don't know. It just does what it does. 
I feel like anyone could pilot it. But maybe it's nuanced. Maybe it's some tough calls to be made. I guess we'll find out. Okay. What genre is this? Oh, nice. We got double lightning bolts and whatnot. That's pretty awesome. So we got to fill up on three drop creatures. Let's just start hiding this stuff. Yeah, mono red it is. How about it? What do we got? Searing Blaze? I don't want Rocky Tarpit. Well, Pain Seer actually could be pretty good. I don't like the inspired aspect of it, though. Searing Blaze might as well read as a sorcery, since we don't have a fetch land. Still good. I kind of want to play around Pain Seer, but I'm just going to take the burn. And Hunt Master's just good. And I don't want to play against it. Maybe we could still get into green. Uh, there's our Goblin Guide. Spike Shot. Pretty damn good with the Sword of Fire Nice. Not bad. So we'll just have to keep an eye out for green fixing potentially. Alright. Uh, let's just hate the fire free. Trying to stuff my face with some mac and cheese. Apologies for the disgusting habit. Uh, Frenzied Goblin. Slay. Alright, I think I want Gitu over Baboons. A man land's good to have around. May be able to kick that. What's it? Discard two cards? Might as well play Sulphur Springs just for the off chance, maybe. But we want to focus on two drops. And three drops, mainly creatures, I think. Yeah. Headhunter is the last card. I guess Mono Red doesn't take too much thought. Uh. I think we gotta go Ember Hauler. I forget what I took over strip mine. I feel like I took a green card perhaps. When hindsight strip mine would have been way better in this deck. Could take tech edge. But I wanna make sure we get what we need, which is low drop creatures. What's this? Huh. I think figures better for us. Well, Legionnaire's fun, but there's a high probability. This is our late game. <laughs> there's also Mita Vault. This could table, but again, it's really good for us. Just loading up on one drops. Try to be as aggressive as possible. So I'm just going to hide Thornscape. Doubt we'll play it. So we are all ones, twos, late game burn. Well, I, hmm. Doesn't do much for us. Siege Gang is time tested. Molten Tail. It might table for us. Yeah, let's slam Siege Gang. That'll be our the tippity top of our curve. 
pithine or pithine needle. Tons of blue. I doubt we're gonna play pyroclasm, but it's it's not bad to have it around. I certainly don't want to play against it. Yeah, I'll just stick it in the board. Maybe Pi the Needle is the pick. Rift Bolt. Burn, burn, burn. All the burn. Uh, this is a bit of a stretch. So I think Devil's Play is what we want. Well, Rain's not terrible. Maybe Table's Horse. I guess I didn't need Pyroclasm. We have Bonfire. Magma Jet is nice to see. What's this? That's a two drop. Is that a Raging Ravine? I don't want to play that much green though. I guess I'll take this on the off chance we need the splash. We don't have the splash colors though. Actually, I'm just, I'm just gonna hate this master of waves. We lose to that card. I think that I'm pretty proud of that pick. I think that's correct. I don't always hate, but when I do, it's a pro red master of waves. Ooh. Well, there's Tech Edge. But I think uh, we just keep going down. <laughs> this ones and twos. All the time. We want to win before they get to four mana. So let's hide that. I just don't know about Goblin Cadets. But why not? We have enough burn, we should be able to keep the board clear. Uh, I guess Masticore? Is this card good? Let's find out. I think if it's good anywhere, it's going to be good in this deck. I think most likely it'll be in the sideboard, though. I'm just going to hate this out. Basically, like a free removal spell every turn. I've yet to get Maze of Ith when I've been playing Control. It'd certainly be a nice find. I think that's pretty much it. Three cards. <laughs> uh, Braids doesn't seem to hurt us. I think I'll just take the Daze. Lightning. Be a nice card to play. Oh, no one's no one's busting the combo. Oh. All right, time to build with red cards. Can we just let's do that? Does that work? Maybe. That so battle mage out, wheel of fortune. Don't think we need it. I'll put it over here though. Let's separate these. Pyroclasm in the board. 
So your blaze, your blood, skull crack, probably in the board. I think GOP might be out of place here. We're not going to get full value out of it. Well, yeah, we should play mana. He should do his job if we get him early. Pretty terrible late. So that's 25. Skull crack on the side. We have 12 creatures. Maybe Sword's just a bit too clunky. But it's so good on our plethora of one drops. Do we cut a one drop? I like that. This is up for debate. Spike shot. I think we stick spike shot in the board. And we could get away with playing 16 lands. Which might be the way to go. We can play Wheel of Fortune. Wait, our curve is so low. I think 16 lands is reasonable. Oh shit, we need figure. I think that's it. So 16 lands. Yeah, our curve is so awesomely low. GOP gets a little less with that land count. Oh, let's get key 2 in there. 14. What's the math on that? Hmm. Sixteen lands with a couple of X spells. Where's our value coming from paying more lands? Sword, figure, two X spells, and siege gang. But we should have enough of just pure gas. Because so our 1s and 2s could do a lot of work off just a few lands. I mean, ideally we should win by turn 3. Well, I mean, not win, but basically have them low enough to be in burn range. Let's try 16 lands. Just, let's just see how that works out. Alright, I'll see you for one. Mono Red, Ink.